Hi everyone, my name is Brelias. I'm a 3D artist and director from Chile. My work specializes in surreal imagery with topics of nostalgia, human connection, nature and abandonment. In this series of tutorials, I'm going to walk you through my process, showing you how to achieve this piece using Blender. Now comes the part that I really like. Unfortunately, this part of my workflow can only be useful to you if you also use K-Cycles. It's the post-processing options that it offers. I'll start by activating the Ultra Lighting option. This allows you to manage your light groups and link them to different objects or collections. Let me add my scene lights. The R button creates a group with the remaining lights on your scenes. And now the magical part. You can isolate the groups so you can inspect how they interact with the objects in your scene. It helps me manage the lighting really easily. And activating the tone mapping for all these allows me to quickly fine tune them. Now, if I want to lower the exposure on one light, I can just lower it there with no need to wait for the viewport to update. This makes the whole process a lot easier. It can change the saturation, shadows, contrast and more. You can also add effects like bloom, glares, lens effects and more.
Now I will add some depth of field using Photographer's Pi menu. For rendering samples, I tend to use from 500 samples to 1000 samples, depending on how noisy it looks. Right now I'm smoothing a part that I don't like how it looks. I will leave most settings as is. And I will render at double the size and I will save it as a 16-bit PNG. Now that this is rendered, I will export it and we will be ready to start the post-processing part 2 in Photoshop. 